Hi everyone, it's um, Shannon and Tiffany here with Create Kids Couture and today we are going to show you how to iron all your boutique um, clothing, all those ruffles and different types of fabric so that your dresses look their best again after they're washed. Yeah, we wrote a blog when we first started all about how to care for your boutique clothing. I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen it yet, so we're going to include a link here um, so you can check that out because we do not recommend drying your clothes in a dryer. So we recommend you hang them, which makes your clothes wrinkly and a little bit stiffer, but ironing them um, the right way will make sure that they are back looking at their best. So stay tuned and we're going to teach you all about how to iron your clothes and we have a special treat at the end that you're not going to want to miss out. So stay tuned. Okay, today we're going to be using the Rowenta Steam Force Iron. This is uh, our favorite iron. Tiffany and I both have one. Um, we love this iron because you get what you pay for. Rowentas are the best irons on the market and this one is no different. Um, it has the most powerful shot of steam on the market. <laughs> See that? That's crazy. Um, you need this steam for all the ruffles that you're going to be ironing with boutique clothes in particular because you want to be able to get out all the rough or all the uh, wrinkles and stuff that you can and all the creases and steam really helps that. Um, it's not going to be possible without all the steam. Um, it also has a 10 ounce reservoir tank so you can fill it up to the top and iron a ton of dresses and you don't have to worry about refilling it. And it also has um, this cool feature, it has motion sensors so when it's not in use it saves you on water as well. Um, to use this iron um, you set it on cottons and down here, well it's off right now. Down here, it'll light up. There it is, it's green, and it shows you that it's set for cottons. Make sure that um, for boutique clothes, you mostly use cottons, whether it's um, denim cottons that you use or cottons for pants and dresses. So make sure that you have it on cotton. And um, let's get started. Okay, first we are going to do our Elena's and Primrose mashup. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of ruffles. These are the most daunting ones to do usually for everyone. They do not want to have to iron this. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that I do it so that it doesn't take as much time. I just lay it out here and I have my first ruffle down. I take my iron. The nice thing about this iron is that it has this nice point so it's really easy to get in there. But you just push it, steam, and I just pull it as I go so that the ruffles can get nice and crisp and it doesn't take so much time. And you do this forever. I'm gonna go on to the next one so that you can see how I do it for the next ruffle instead of doing the whole ruffle. I just lift it open, put the bottom ruffle underneath, and start again for the, the second tier or a third tier, actually. The steam on this iron is really amazing though. It helps get everything out. And then I'm going to do the next row. We'll do the top one for now. And then you can see through this little side here. Well, I guess I skipped over, but. It's it nice and flat. We'll finish this up and show you an after shot too. All right, so here is the finished Primrose and Elena's pattern. Um, nice and fluffy and the ruffles are all poofy again and not so stuck together and wrinkled. And there's the other side. Looks exactly the same. Okay, so with this one, um, you know, you have it hanging up when you're drying it. So the straps are not looking so hot. So untie it, and it's just a wrinkled mess. So what you're going to do is you're going to start on one end, you're going to flatten it, and you're just going to iron 
and press the steam. Iron and wiggle a little and press the steam. Wiggle, press the steam. That's another great thing about this iron in particular. It has the rounded edges so that um, when you're wiggling, it doesn't get caught on the fabric and you definitely need the wiggle. It helps. That's my uh, patented move. Wiggle and press. And the last little bits. And now you see, there's obviously a nice difference between the two. It looks brand new. So I'm going to move on to the bottom part of this dress. Um, this is the Tiffany's dress, so it's double layer. So for the top layer, which is the patchwork, we're going to be putting the steam in action. Steam all over and just pull, make it nice and pretty, get those wrinkles out. The patchwork, you know, it does take a little more effort, um, but it's worth it. And with the magic of videos, we will come back and show you the finished in a moment. All right, as you see, I finished iron ironing and it's um, nice and pretty again. And I did the other strap and the bodice, which you just run it over the bodice, super simple. Um, and here you go, it's all nice and pretty. Um, I am gonna show you how to do the under layer now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the top layer over and pull the skirt onto the small end of your ironing board. And you're going to pull it, and um, it gets right up in here in the gathering part. Um, it fits perfectly, and you can spread out your fabric and make it all nice and smooth and straight. And then you use the iron and the steam to get this top part flat. And you steam it and just pull the pretty ruffles to make them light and fluffy again. Once they air dry, or cool down, I mean, they'll be light and fluffy. And we'll do it again. And see, um, if I bring it around here, you can see that I was able to get all the way up here and make it nice and smooth all the way down. So I'm going to go and finish ironing, and when I come back, I'll show you the whole entire dress. Okay, so I just finished ironing the under layer and fluffing up the ruffles, and here's the final piece. See how it's all poofy and not squished together anymore, and it's so light and fluffy, and it's uh, all ironed and ready to go. Okay, so again, we're going to be putting our steam into action. I love doing that. And we're going to um, be ironing a pair of um, Haley's Capris with only two ruffles. We didn't add the third ruffle. Um, so we're just going to lay this down, the top part. And we're just going to steam. Do that again on this side. Because it's denim, I like to um, do both sides. If it's cotton, I'm kind of lazy and I'll do uh, one side. I mean, I'm a really hard worker and I do both sides always. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the top looking awesome. So now the ruffles. Um, well, I'll just do this this way. Steam it. And if you just kinda, um, run your hand along, you can kind of straighten out the ruffles. And then do it with the bottom one. You can unroll them as you steam. Whoa. Sorry, we have this propped up. Getting a little crazy with the ironing board. And as you can see, um, it looks nice and flat. 
Um, I'll finish them and come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so here are the pants all finished. As you can see, the ruffles are nice and fluffy and the pants are perfectly pressed. So they're nice and flat and everything looks good. Okay, everyone. Um, I know Shannon told you to stay tuned because we had something really cool to tell you. And today, um, Rowent is actually going to be giving away one of these awesome irons to one of you. Um, the information on how to win the iron is going to be in the link below. Yep, and it's going to take you to our blog, and um, we have all the raffle copter, copter info on there, and um, you can enter in that. This is a $175 iron. It is amazing, and you want it in your life. So go to our blog and read about how to win it and how to enter, and you won't be sorry. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Make, Make sure, sure you subscribe. <laughs>